What's going on guys? Before you guys watch this video, I'm just going to quickly tell you guys that I am currently live streaming on Twitch. Link below. Let's go. Enjoy the video. All kinds of games. Probably streaming for about two or three hours. Slayer slash skilling slash owning bitches. What's going on guys? Before you guys watch this video, I just want to clear one thing up um, that I was actually wrong during the video. I just made sure I was double checking. Next week, we can use uh, XP boost and stuff like that on Divination just to tell you guys. So, you know, um, your uh, amulets, your whatever, troll invasion, etc, etc. And there isn't really much of a rush to use your divine tiers or your divine points in the uh, BOL mini game. Um, it's going to stay there even after the game is removed today, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, you could still, you know, you know, we won't lose anything out if you don't log on today and get cash in your points, basically. So if you guys actually save your points from BOL uh, sometime next week, I believe you guys can basically use your XP lamps uh, for divination uh, from BOL, which is pretty sweet because today I cracked a pretty good amount of agility experience. As you guys probably see by the thumbnail, 1.9 million experience. It could have been probably um, divination experience if I wanted to be, but I chose a Jody just because. Uh, I mean, I don't know divination. I'm going to be training that with Hunter basically, so I don't want to fuck that up for myself. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next clip. Games. What's going on, Big Dick? So today I just want to kind of uh, not exactly announce, but tell you guys that today is actually the last day on um, the 29th, the last day to get these divine tears. From the uh, the current mini game, uh, but, well, I'm not sure if I call it mini game, but Battle of Lumbridge. Um, as you guys know, I made the video where I bought the Sarah Dorman armor. If you guys do have enough points, I'd probably suggest maybe buying it. Um, this is something that's nice to have, I guess. Apparently, you are going to be able to um, unlock this armor in a different way. From what I've heard, there it's going to be dropped from different things. Uh, but from what Jack said, it's going to be a lot harder to get. So I mean, if you guys want to, uh, you know, obviously save some time and probably just use these things on it. But yeah, today I'm going to go cash mine in and see what my loot's going to be. I'm going to be obviously taking the uh, the lamps. I'm going to be using it on agility, I believe. Um, even if I could use it on divination, which I believe I still cannot, um, I would still be using it on agility. I would not be using it on um, divination. I don't think because the best way to train divination is definitely doing hunter, uh, which normally you can keep one-to-one -one ratio to doing it. Ooh, chaos runes. Let me get those. I've been picking up all my drops. Today. I still have not done this weird academy thingy, whatever, tutorial shit. Uh, but anyways, let's go see what I can get. I deposit the last ones I do have. Um, now, I'm not 100% on it, but I'm like almost 90% sure that it's going to be ending today. Um, I'm, I'm uploading this uh, tomorrow, which will be the, you know, the last day. So I'm kind of doing it at night time. So that's my total points right there. 9.5k basically, which is like 95,000 divine tiers. In total, this is going to be fucking amazing. Let's see. Claim rewards. I should probably bank and just get a bunch of shit. There's been a rumor going around that you can only buy one lamp from each tier. That is a, uh, that's basically a myth. You can buy as many as you want. I believe you can only have one in your inventory though, if it's true or not. Let me see. Yeah, you can only have one, I guess. Um, you've already claimed this item. So basically, you can only buy them one by one, which is, this is going to be a bitch. I'm going to probably misclick on that by accident later on. So, um, yeah, you can still not use on, there we go. So let's just see how much agility I actually gain. I'm going to probably put up something over here to see exactly how much agility I gain. Let me just quickly pause this shit. All right, actually, I don't want to mess up my uh, my fishing and divination experience or my overall experience. So we have 67.35 million overall experience right now on that thing. So let's just see how much more we get after we are done. And as you can see right here, I'm able to buy more than just one. It's kind of odd that you can only have one in your inventory. I don't really get the point of that. That's just a bunch more work for no reason. We yeah, I just took a picture of my experience just to make sure that I do have it. Um, this is going to take quite a fucking while, isn't it? Oh, well, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Now, I'll give you guys kind of, I guess, my opinions on uh, Battle of Lumbridge and all these world uh, event type of things that apparently they're going to be adding quite often now. Um, I believe they're just going to keep doing it, uh, in, like, I don't know, until RuneScape goes down or some shit. Um, but yeah, I think, it was, I think it was pretty cool, to be honest. It wasn't too bad of experience, and with the actual rewards in the ending, definitely kind of worth it. Something that you don't really want to do every day if you don't really, you know, if you're tra training other skills. But for someone like me that's been at fucking, you know, Rock Tales, and luckily enough, we got I got these while I was fishing. Uh, you know, very lucky enough for me since I was being lazy anyways at Rock Tales. It may be, it made fishing Rock Tales like almost fucking worth the experience per hour because you get um, quite a bit of these things anyways in the end. So um, yeah, Jody experience wise though, I'm hoping to get a little bit over a million, I believe is what it was. Let me just quickly refill that cannon, put on that shit. There we go, all kinds of gains. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I think it's pretty sweet how they also have the armors in there and how they're pretty, they're pretty efficient, I guess, to have for doing bossing, which isn't really efficient. But you know, if you're a PVM, we're definitely worth doing. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Castle Wars, I guess you could say. It's kind of bonus experience, or not bonus experience, but bonus armor and stuff. It doesn't really do much, but inside the mini game it does, but not exactly like Castle Wars, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to finish buying these lamps, uh, and hopefully I'll be done soon. 
Now, knowing Jax, probably like tomorrow we can probably start using experience on Divination. I bet you they probably set that up perfectly so we don't uh, end up using this points on Divination. I thought I was actually going to end up using these on Divination. I said Divination like four times in the same fucking sentence. Uh, that must be annoying. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess they kind of purpose purposely set that up so we can't. Because I was going to train Divination through just doing... Uh, these divine tears. I didn't know this battle of lumberage was actually going to last for only a few months. I thought it was going to be here forever because you know it's a pretty nice thing to actually have. Uh, but I guess not. Maybe it's going to be replaced by something else now that's hopefully around the same stuff. 16k points to go. Lego game. And here is the last bit of experience right there: a medium lamp and then uh, the large lamp and the medium lamp. So my experience is now 69 million. Uh, 228,000 we had, how much experience, 60 cents, so we gained just about 1.8 million agility, holy shit. And just to give you guys an update on my rock tails, I have 37,000 rock tails now from all that fishing from rock tails. Uh, let me just price check that quickly, I always forget the price checkers down here right now. Um, I think these went down recently though, to kind of the shitty part, yeah, about 2.7k. They were 3k each for a while, but yeah, there we go, 102 mil basically in rock tails. Now I am using these porters, which I still have to make a video on. I know I told you guys to make one a very long time ago, but I've been kind of slacking on uh, really doing too much on EOC. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm still doing Slayer. Um, but anyway, so that's probably I, that's, that's probably it for that. Um, as you guys probably saw, I sold my bow staffs to one of my friends, uh, Machiavelli. I sold him, I think it was 40,000 battle staffs for like 7.5k each. I actually lost money on buying my battle I bought about 30,000 battle staffs for about 8k each in the GE over time. And I, I was only doing this just out of the kindness of my heart, just trying to buy it for my friends because I know it's a pain to buy, buy these things. And uh, they ended up crashing to like 7K each. Then they went back up to 7.2. And I made a deal with uh, with him to sell for 7.5. I am still buying more, as you'll see right here. Um, I'm always going to be buying these basically on my account just for my friends. Uh, just to help them out a little bit because I know how annoying it is to buy these things. Um, but that's basically all the updates, guys, for uh, EOC. I, once again, I am I do apologize for not having too many EOC videos out. I do plan on making God Wars from scratch with Abdul sometime soon. Uh, he's just been kind of busy with a few things, and um, yeah, it's kind of about it. But anyways, I'm going back to Rock Tales for now and continue slaying. The only reason I actually made this video right now was because I have an AFK Slayer task, um, which, you know, efficiency-wise, which is kind of nice. I'm doing my Dragon Battle, I expect. There we go. And there we go, all kinds of games. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Actually, wait, we're going to quickly check the experience. Um, let's quickly log out. Let me go to the lobby. You guys ready to see my IP? Ready to see my IP? And... Dude, what the fuck is going on now? Really, Jax? I can't even... Oh, my goodness. Well, I know what the fuck just happened. My RuneScape screen just kind of froze. I don't know if my character haven't logged out so I can update my experience. Yes, it did. All right, there is my experience for daily agility right there. 1.9 million. I just passed 53 million agility experience. I'll show you guys my weekly experience. 5.1 mil fishing, 2.5 mil mining. Been doing warbands quite a bit. Monthly experience, 15 million fishing, 10 million mining. Uh, and no, for agility, I'm not doing my daily uh, agility tasks. I don't really bother to do it. If I ever get experience from uh, spins, then I just kind of use it on that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. 53 million agility. I don't think I've trained agility legit since like freaking 20 million. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It kind of dragged on a little bit longer than I thought I was going to. And I'm still fucking like, what is... I have to refresh this shit. Leave. Yes, please. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. All kinds of likes up in this bitch.